For this week's edition of Cow Tip Tuesday, we're here on site at Nichols Cryogenetics in rural Maxwell, Iowa. We're gonna step you through the process that this facility uses to collect, freeze, and store semen on the AI sires that are housed here. This is a custom collection facility. Some bulls only come for one day and are collected multiple times. Others stay here for longer durations to build a bank of semen. They're usually collected two times per week. The bulls collected here use what's referred to as a jump dummy. This mimics the natural mating process and the semen is simply diverted into an artificial vagina during the collection. Multiple steps are taken to ensure that the semen collected remains at a constant temperature through the evaluation. A vial of warm water surrounds the semen right after it's collected from the bull. The vial is transferred into an incubation table prior to being evaluated. A subsample of every collection from every bull is evaluated under a microscope. A highly trained technician is looking for live versus dead sperm cells, also known as motility, and normal versus abnormal sperm cells, also known as morphology. Ideally, both of those percentages should be above 75 if a bull is able to freeze high-quality semen. If a sample falls below these threshold values, the bull may actually be collected later on in the same day and meet the specifications. It's actually very common for a bull that's been sitting idle to have jump one fail and jump two be freezable high-quality semen. The next step is to determine the sample's concentration. For this, a light spectrometer is used. The less light that passes through a semen sample, the higher the concentration of sperm cells per milliliter. Once the concentration of the sample is known, it can be multiplied into the volume collected from the bull to determine the total number of sperm cells in the collection. The goal is to get 40 million viable sperm cells in each straw of semen. The process used to dilute semen down to a consistent concentration is known as extending the semen. A simple solution referred to as part A is added to the semen before it's refrigerated down to a temperature of five degrees Celsius over a period of four hours. Once the collection has reached its chill down temperature, a second solution simply referred to as part B is added slowly over the next 60 minutes in order to not shock the sperm cells and keep them viable. The next step is to chill the straws down to the same five degrees Celsius temperature that the semen has been stored at for about the last four hours. After that, the straws are immediately dropped into liquid nitrogen at a temperature of about negative 160 degrees Fahrenheit. During the chill down process, a number of other steps are occurring. Each bull at this facility is given a unique identifier, also known as a cane code. This code is placed not only on the straw, but also on these metal clips that clip to the top of each cane. The final step in this process is to determine the viability of the frozen semen when it's thawed and placed in a live cow. The following morning, one straw is thawed down to 98 degrees Fahrenheit, or about 36 degrees Celsius, to determine its viability. It's placed under a microscope, and there should be no change in morphology, but motility should be above 60 to 70 percent for viable semen. If the semen fails, the entire collection is discarded and the process starts over. If the semen successfully survives the thawing process, it's put under a two-hour stress test at a constant temperature of 36 degrees Celsius or 98 Fahrenheit, and motility is determined again at the end of this two-hour period. At least 55% of the semen needs to be viable for this semen to be sold and shipped out of this facility. I'd like to extend a sincere thank you to Jay and Danny Steenhook and their entire crew at Nichols Cryogenetics for allowing me to film and ask questions on a very busy collection day.